many different human societies, the worst sanction the community can issue is shunning. The person ignored grows gradually depressed and soon begins to doubt his or her very existence. In some societies, the final outcome of being ostracized is death. The person who's left alone comes to accept the fact that he must be already dead, since no one pays attention to him any longer. Little by little, he stops taking care of his body and eventually passes away. There is no question that we are social animals. Only in the company of other people do we feel complete. The Latin locution for being alive was inter hominem esse, which literally meant to be among men, whereas to be dead was inter hominem esse te senere, or to cease to be among men. The phenomenology of enjoyment has eight major components. One. We should confront a task that one has a chance of completing. Two, we must be able to concentrate on what we are doing. Three and four, the concentration is usually possible because the task undertaken has clear goals and provides immediate feedback. Five, one acts with a deep but effortless involvement that removes from awareness the worries and frustrations of everyday life. Six, Enjoyable experiences allow people to exercise a sense of control over their actions. 7. Concern for the self disappears, yet paradoxically the sense of self emerges stronger after the flow of experience is over. Finally, the sense of the duration of time is altered. Walking is the most trivial physical activity imaginable, yet it can be profoundly enjoyable if a person sets goals and takes control of the process. In the city, the terrain itself is not challenging, but there are other opportunities for developing skills. The social stimulation of the crowds, the historical and architectural reference of the urban milieu can add enormous variety to a walk. There are store windows to see, people to observe, patterns of human interactions to reflect on. Some walkers specialize in choosing the shortest routes, others the most interesting ones. Some pride themselves in walking the same route with chronometric precision, others like to mix and match their itinerary. Unless one sets goals and develops skills, walking is just featureless drudgery. and creative. You have to like be patient to do everything, and otherwise everything is gonna fail. Like if you know have your if you know calm yourself down first, then you won't be able to make anything. Like the outcome will be really bad. In my free time, I'm doing um, like meditation every day so it also helps with my work like give me some inspiration the quality of life depends on two factors how we experience work and our relations with other people
hundreds of times every day we are reminded of the vulnerability of ourself. And every time this happens, psychic energy is lost trying to restore order to consciousness. But in flow, there is no room for self-scrutiny, because enjoyable activities have clear goals, stable rules and challenges well matched to skills. There is little opportunity for the self to be threatened. Being able to forget temporarily who we are seems to be very enjoyable. When not preoccupied with ourselves, we actually have a chance to expand the concept of who we are. Loss of self-consciousness can lead to self-transcendence, to a feeling that the boundaries of our being have been pushed forward. Loss of the sense of self, separate from the world around it, is sometimes accompanied by a feeling of union with the environment. Just as we learn to separate ourselves from each other and from the environment, we now need to learn how to reunite ourselves with other entities around us without losing our hard-won individuality. The most promising faith for the future might be based on the realization that the entire universe is a system related by common laws and that it makes no sense to impose our dreams and desires on nature without taking them into account. Recognizing the limitations of human will, accepting our cooperation rather than the ruling role in the universe, we should feel the relief of the exile who is finally returning home. The problem of meaning will then be resolved as the individual's purpose merges with the universal flow. <laughs>